We are super stoked about this. It is six months in the build to get this fantastic looking hull finished up. The next stage is to get it out to put the lead in the keel. Then she'll get some paint on her. And then she can get into the fit out shop and she'll be getting ready for the water. We're Cheryl and Paul Shard, hosts of the Distant Shores Sailing Adventure TV series. We've been cruising and living aboard for 32 years, documenting the sailing lifestyle. Join us for the building of our fifth boat, a custom aluminum Orion 49. It's the end of January, so it's been six months for the boat build to happen, the aluminum hull of the boat and all the deck and all the fittings inside it. The hull construction for our new 49-foot aluminum sailboat began back in June of 2022. In early September, the hull was lifted and turned right way up. At this point, the deck was fitted on and suddenly she looked like a sailboat. Finally, remaining aluminum features were welded in place. So we're just getting ready now to move the hull into the paint shop and then it's the next stage of fitting out the inside of the boat. And she looks phenomenal. Look at this incredible shiny hull. Down below the water line it's sanded and then up on the top it's been buffed and you can see how perfect there's not one ounce of filler on that. It's all just beautiful shaped, perfectly shaped aluminum. So the next stage is going to take about three or four weeks. I understand where it's in the paint shop. And then the rest of the time goes into the fitting out and everything. The cold winter's day, the end of January. She looks fantastic. Look at her here, she looks absolutely gorgeous. All the deck work is finished up. The job now is to put the keel on, get the keel mounted, and then the lead will go in, and then starts the paint, and then all the interior fittings. But you can see how much is already done up here on deck. The keel casing has been built separately and will be welded in, but the operation requires a boat lift to suspend the hull over the keel. So today the team is going to pick up the hull and move it to a building just around the corner that has an integrated boat lift. Okay. Yes, yes, very nice. How many hours do you think we've all put in on this? Um, three or four thousand. Three or four thousand yeah. hours. Big morning this morning. Distant Shores 4 is about to be moved out of the metal shop at KV Alubao. And she'll be moving to the paint shop. <laughs> you proud of seeing your boat leave? Yeah. You've been doing all this work on it's, it over uh, the last... Almost finished. Just, uh... Having to build in the keel and, and uh, the rest. It's just a couple of hundred meters to take her to her new home for the next few months, actually a few weeks in the paint shop. And then for the next few months after that, she'll be in the Gebruder uh, Zenkhausen's yard where all the interior fitting will be done. She looks absolutely spectacular. Look at the finish. She's just so silver and perfect. And oh, she looks absolutely great. And there's also a bunch of woodwork stuff to be done too. So a pile more decisions at this point as the build takes on a whole new level. The interior fitting and the that's into the final stages.
That is super exciting. Wow. We have begun the next chapter. It was so exciting to see the boat on the move out of the metal shop and now it's in the paint shop. And oh my goodness, soon it <laughs> oh will be goodness. summer and the boat will be in the water. <laughs> It's not summer today, that's for sure. I'm <laughs> no. freezing. Getting ready end, for end of January. high latitude. <laughs> that's right, we're practicing for high latitudes here. Today it is minus uh, one or two, I think. Yeah, very windy. And very, very windy. So, yeah. very exciting. You just realized you just realized you forgot something. Here comes the keel. How exciting is that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the keel. Boat. So, would you like to make some more of these boats? Yes, of course. It's nice work to build a uh, sailing boat. So this How many sailboats have you built before? Um for KB Alibo, this was the first. Oh yeah? <laughs> but on, on KM, uh, a lot of them. Yeah. I don't know how much, but yeah. Uh... But you ready to make some more if anybody wants any more of these Orions? Yes, yes, of course. Well, thank you very much. Yes. So this is the keel box that goes in the bottom of the boat. So she sits up underneath, and then that sticks down under the bottom of the boat. And then there's the swinging part that swings down so that we draw over three meters with it all the way down, or just 1.2 with it up. This is massively, massively strong of an aluminum. And in order to put it under the boat, we had to bring it to this other shop, which has an internal crane. And then this can lift the, the hull up. And then this part will be positioned underneath and then can be welded on. But right now this is an empty keel with no lead in it. It'll be lifted up in the air, put up under the bottom of the hull, then the, that'll be welded on and reinforced, and then lead added into this, and uh, the keel itself, the swinging part, will be put on later. Pretty exciting stuff. This is like the real heart of the, of the boat, the keel, and the last major is part of the assembly to be put together. You think it is going to fit? Yes, we think it's going to fit. <laughs> <laughs> the class is saying now that they're going to keep the boat this high up in the air and then lift the keel up inside the boat. This should all fit inside when it gets raised up and you need to make the chains on the lift long enough that it'll be able to bring the boat up all in one go. Otherwise, they'll have to rest the keel and shorten the chains so that the lift works the other way. So the floors are mostly finished over where the keel is welded in and the keel is all braced. You can see the bracings in here and then the floors brace the tanks and the keel in place. All the internal work around here. So for instance, here is the, uh, the bollards, the bits coming through the deck welded into this solid extra heavy duty plate and super super braced and reinforced. These are not going anywhere. The tanks are finished down here. The fills, the tank fills the reinforcements as the tanks are really part of the structure of the boat actually, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Fed has also got the holes in here where the lead will be poured into the keel. And then the holes will be welded closed. And then this is the keel casing itself where it swings up. So we can see where the saloon is going to be just around the keel case. 
the mass step. The mass step is in too, massively strong, super, super sturdy. This is just made out of such incredible strength here, this 15 or 18 millimeters, maybe 20. Very strong aluminum reinforcing it. The engine compartment, the tanks are all built in and ready to go. Just need fittings on them. And she is looking like she's nearly done here. They got a few more reinforcements to do under the deck, the cabin roof. And uh, she's really nearly ready. The aluminum hull and deck is nearly ready anyway. And that's a big step. Before the lead is poured into the keel, a surveyor from the CE Certification Society comes to inspect the work done so far, and we take a close look at the measures taken to deal with corrosion on our new boat. But that's next time on Distant Shores. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. And throw a comment below if you're as excited as I am to see the boat launching this summer.